Hi there and welcome to Story Time with Uncle Bill. I'm hoping to get you ready to eat. Let me wash my hands right quick. Went kayaking yesterday. <laughs> oh boy. Hoping to see some alligators. And I didn't know what kind of kayak I was going to be in. But I knew the person that I was going to go kayaking in had been on these rivers and creeks his whole life. So I trusted him. So I meet up about 11 o'clock. You got one of the tone boy KO. Shout out to you, brother. Had a good time with him. <laughs> These dudes were way back on that creeks and rivers boat. And uh, saved you 30 minutes. I've been boiling some uh, leg quarters here. The ones we got for 49 cents a pound. Off. We talk about cooking. There was a time I only had one pot and one bowl, and that was it. So there's my bowl. It was a it was a big bowl too. It wasn't quite that big, but um, I like to eat a lot, so I didn't want to have a little bowl. So all I could carry was one pot and one bowl. So that's what we're gonna make this side. So I made that. Um, so I'm getting the broth from the chicken because we can't throw it away. Cool. We're gonna make some macaroni in there too. That's what it looks like. Look at that, folks. That's all. We haven't. I haven't added anything to it. That's just the chicken. Nice and oily. Look at that. Now, if all you got is this one pot, man, you got to make way. Can't get no extra water. We ain't dumping that out. So we're gonna cook the noodles right in there. And I had to look. Cause you know you always see drain your noodles but never rinse them with water so we turn this on high and we didn't season this and chicken don't got no flavor folks you never kick a trick before kick it by itself just bland as hell but you got the salt for your pasta so we're gonna put some salt in there you can use any macaroni cheese you want I really always like this. Uh, they, you know, they ain't never gonna sponsor me. Um, and I and because I know it's, I only got this one pot to use. The amount of water that I put in there for the chicken, I made that to where when it reduced down, it'd be the same for the thing, so I don't waste any of it. So I didn't use, you know, a half a pot. I, I tried to concentrate the sauce to where it equal to what the pasta would come out to because I'm not going to drain the pasta. Once the pasta's done, that's it. We're going to put the chicken in there. I know I had, I had one pot, one pan, and one bowl. But we're going to fry the chicken. We're going to make some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Barbecue. Uh, no, 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 no. Buffalo. Buffalo macaroni cheese. I'm sitting here thinking about kayaking. So we had talked about it and he wanted to he wanted to do a little YouTube channel because he's always on the river and he's got incredible photos, folks. Short videos of alligators, all kind of cool birds, the fish he catches, uh, driftwood. He's like Huckleberry Finn. I mean, or he's like Tom Sawyer, really. I don't know what to expect though. I'm always on high alert because if it can happen to somebody, it's going to happen to me. But I'm going to come out with the story. Might be out of lose an arm or have to have to, have, have to wrestle an alligator off somebody. You never know. And I ain't going to leave nobody. We went on the water 10 minutes and it was already alligator. First, when I got in the kayak, got in the kayak all right. And the only time I'd ever been on a kayak, it was one that was... Where you sit on top of it. This one you had to stick your legs in a tube thing. <laughs> it's a lot different. <laughs> it's a lot different. And I had my um, and I didn't know what to expect, and I was hoping to do a lot of filming. Man, that did not work out, man. It just there's just no 
for not what I had. I had my phone and I had a, I had a camcorder and that just ain't conducive for out there. The wind was blowing real bad. It was, it was choppy. There was alligators everywhere. <laughs> there was alligators, man. Folks. And look, the whole time, oh, I'm sorry we ain't seeing more alligators. I don't want to see anymore. The fun time's over. <laughs> but I, I seen them. Okay. Because <laughs> And I've watched all kind of documentaries. I mean, I love National Geographic, all the, uh, oh man, Steve, Steve Irwin, um, the Crocodile Hunter. Uh, I mean, all of them. You know, where the little tour guys, they come and they hold the chicken up and they're launching out of the water. Where you see the herds, of the wildebeest. Miles and miles of wildebeest got, got, had, they have to cross this river. They're just picking them off. I'm way smaller than the wildebeest. And I'm not no small dude, folks. I'm about 265 pounds. All day. And I'm, 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 <laughs> you just ain't about to do anything. That ain't going to happen. But an alligator now, I'm not no fool. I'm not no fool. We go around this bend, the first bend, and you ever, like, at their, their territorial, so when you see them, normally that's somewhere where they they live, they house, a spot in the mud, in the, in the grass somewhere, that's where they live. They're patrolling that, making sure you don't come around, and because uh, maybe for babies, just, just for being, they just don't want you there. We have to pass this spot to go any further. You can hear <laughs> you can hear people in the houses. Hey, there's that gator. There's that gate. You, but you ain't have to tell us. He's and I got videos. I got videos. Couple, one, one or two minute clips, and you can see them. You know what I mean. And the only thing I'm thinking about is I'm not big enough. I can't use, like, you know, you only got your upper half, Hank, is, is about that high off the water. He don't, he could probably fart and propel himself at me. It, cro it crosses your mind the whole time. Your mind plays tricks on you, folks. But I understand, I, I seen... I seen I seen the I seen the alligator show where the the man was in the water and how an alligator responds. He did it a few times where he walked real slowly, didn't like create splashes, and the big ass alligators right over there and didn't uh, didn't even move, didn't react. But as soon as he made a couple pumping motions, that mug came over there like a missile. Full of so and you know that's what my man Bobby kept was trying to tell me. He's like, man, you just, you, you, you know how it is, man. They get more scared of you and everything else. And I'm trying to play that in my head. <laughs> While well, I'm looking at this damn 10-foot alligator. And I watch swamp people, folks. I can't think of all them dudes. You know, about like Troy Landry and his boys. I feel like I know them. I watched seven, eight seasons. I seen them catch big old, man, I, I seen them. Tugging the rope, man, I would love to do that one day. They don't have that. If they do have that here in North Carolina, it just started happening. But I can't even be around anybody with a gun. Maybe they have like a, a black powder. Okay, you got to hit that quarter side. I know what to do now. Oh, I know what to do. And I respect them. But, I mean, I'm... I'm <laughs> When I was crossing where that alligator was, there's actually a, a little dock area, a nice one too. Like, uh, like it's like it, it's a nice. It's got a a waterway and then a dock and a little waterway. The waterway is like ten feet off of the river. It's really cool. Um, nice trees over there. Uh, it's in it's in the it's in the video. Man, my heart. I I panicked. I was I was starting to panic. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about the area. <laughs> All I know is just two minutes ago, I watched a big-ass alligator go like this, and I don't know where he is anymore. 
And I don't know how many people, I mean, if, if you're watching, you probably calling me every kind of scaredy cat and all, all kinds of other names. I, hey, I, hey, I'm telling you, I'm keeping it real with you, folks. Your boy was scared. I mean, and I got something hit the bottom of the boat. Oh my God. And I got this bag in between my legs. So I'm kind of I'm kind of scrunched up a little bit. I'm a big dude. And uh there 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 there'll be a I'll show you a picture uh what the kayak looked like and me in it. And uh I panicked. I, oh shit! Ah! Hell, hell, hell! Oh no, no, uh, uh. and I I was wiggling and stuff and the dudes was laughing. I was stuck on a tree, and when I was stuck, you know, I was making I was making the tree move. It made it was scraping the bottom of the kayak. I thought he got me, folks. I thought he was trying to tip me and shit. My abs, my abs are so sore right now. About five and a half hours straight kayaking. Look, when we went out, we was going against the the wind and the current. So, you know, boom, boom, boom. Wait, man, it just seemed like I was paddling hard, hard and not going nowhere. But, moving. Sore, I'm tired. I was pumping, folks. <laughs> they was laughing. I got off of it. And I kept going, man. I, I'm not, I only said sightseeing's over, sightseeing's over. Ten, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and, oh, I didn't even tell you. When I got in the kayak, I got stuck on the damn little launch pad thing. And uh, it was like, use your body and shove. And I went to, I went to, I cranked my abs and hips in that little kayak. First thing I did is got my whole butt wet. I mean, nothing but, and, and just a little bit of my butt back. Whole butt soaking. When I went, when I when I hit it, I I I met I made waves. <laughs> Man, but I talk about five out, and I end up doing like that uh, another time. Five hours butt soaking wet. Like I like I had a, like I had a dirty like a soggy butt. Man, I do you know how uncomfortable that is. Okay, then now we're gonna let this sit. We gotta pull some chickens. Pull some chickens. I scared him. I was really scared. Oh my. You know you're scared when all you can do is laugh about it later. You'll see it. I don't know. It might not even be big, do you? <laughs> right. My heart was racing. Every but every survival instinct kicked in. It's just stay upright. And if you go in, what you gonna do? And, and, and my man Bobby, I always listen to people's, you know, advice because it's always come in as even commercials. Bobby told me the alligators, when they're straight, they can only go straight. So if they come in zigzag, I'm Barry Sanders. Come Michael Phelps. We turn it into somebody other than me. There won't be no straight line. This is not a bullet. <laughs> Gonna be no period at the end of this one. We'll look like the letter S. <laughs> so we go up in the open water. It was nice. I got I hit a couple more trees. Um, the water wasn't very deep. No matter how wide the river got, the water was still shallow. Uh, 
seen a couple really cool birds, a couple really cool trees, a bunch. A million turtles. They couldn't get one. I don't think I got one turtle yesterday. I mean, I just didn't get one turtle. And I, I, I'm, there's, but there's a, uh, you know, normally when we kept, when we, when we went past, we seen the turtles and when we came back, the turtles was in the same spot. Folks, there's this turtle that's, man, he's, he, he's, he looks like the size of a 20 inch rim. He was about four, maybe five foot up this lean in big log. It was a huge log because he couldn't have got up it any other way. But he caught for, for uh, Sonnen. When he, <laughs> I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, is that a turtle way up there? When he hit the water, he caught a big splash. And when we came back, he was up there again. You'll see him. If he does that again, you'll see him. You'll see him many a time, too, because it's cool. I mean, it's some old dive bombing. Ah, kamikaze stuff. Ah, Joe Ronimo. Boom. I wonder how, if he just does that for fun. You know what I mean? Like, he thinks he's a high diver or something. The reincarnation of somebody that was in the Olympics. You never know. But uh, so he takes us back. I'm thinking in this little canal. I'm thinking we're going to the other side of the river, but we're going into a creek. Yeah. And there's alligators in there, and it gets narrow. And I'm I'm getting claustrophobic. And it's still, it, it, like I can, no, I can touch both sides because I'm having to or, uh, like this, you know, keeping it close. And it's, it's not very deep. And the only thing I can think of, that all that mother got to do is bump me. And because my feet are locked up in that thing, I never really practice escaping there. <laughs> um, I probably should. I got a swimming pool over here. I'm not doing that in that water. You ever been next to an alligator? I, I mean, it, I, it, it wasn't that close. But past where alligator, you know, you just seen an alligator in a kayak. I have in a boat a bunch. I was down in Florida and, um, Went to one of those lakes. I can't even remember the name of it. And uh, it was loaded. I mean, it was, they were standing up on that alligator grass. They were just hanging out looking at you. Damn. Only thing I'm thinking, man, that dude wants to eat me. He would love to know what I taste like. Would have rolled around in the water with a death roll. And sure not scared of man. They're not scared of you. I'd be looking at you like that. I always wonder, you picture me like one of them cartoons. <laughs> Where we're like two dudes on just stranding on an island or two two scarecrows. You start getting a delusional because you ain't ate in uh, two weeks. I start turning into a hot dog. That's what I imagine the alligator thinks. For real. Eat and breathe. That's what they know. Well, it ain't breathable. That ain't happening. Ain't damn sure ain't gonna eat me. If I can help it. <laughs> so, man, we've seen a lot of turtles. Luckily, we, um, there was a whole bunch of um, logs and stuff, tree falling trees in the way. So we had to turn around. I, well, I, I couldn't get the current to work with me. It was a snapping turtle, big old snapping turtle eating this fish. I could see it. Oh, man, it was tearing. Oh, rah, rah, rah. I could see it crystal clear. But I couldn't get over for nothing to keep filming. I was pretty upset about that. 
Couldn't get couldn't couldn't hit the buttons on camera or, or it would uh just wouldn't do it. It's a lot harder. I don't know what I thought. That's why I went out there though, you know. And I'll, I'm going plenty of times. Yeah, it was, it was scary. And I got stuck on some uh on those roots that come up out of the ground. And it was like a stick or something in there too, so I thought it got me again, folks. Another one. There's just so many. So we ended up going to this uh this island. And yeah, I could see it from the, the bridge all the time, but I had never went there myself. Um area you know alligators like to launch from from the water to the land while you're trying to drink or cross over so when I got in the kayak I was like man this is my most vulnerable moment once I get in the water I got a little bit better chance but I see and we're gonna just start frying this chicken up little boo go to dock on this island it's the same thing I don't, now my heart's racing because now I've seen the alligators they ain't no myth and I've seen plenty of them and this dude's like yeah this is alligator reservoir because he tried to be funny because he knows I'm scared <laughs> scared so he goes up on the thing first this is one of my heavily seasoned the chicken we got the salt I got some garlic powder I get off I get off the kayak real smooth real fast too I was scared I thought I found a, a, a new species of something. I wanted to get it out of a piece of wood, and the, me and the whole wood fell up in the thing, so you won't be seeing that. Got that coming again if I can get it. Hmm. But I ended up finding two huge turtle shells for that species. Could be some kind of pond slider. And it's gonna be a lot of pepper in this. It's gonna be uh, like the blackened variety. And I got some adobo. And the mac and cheese, we're gonna put some milk up in it. one it had a little twist with it. We were looking for alligators and I looked down it was right on the shore and I wanted to introduce Bobby to you. Plus I didn't want to be running down on the shore while there was an alligator there. I'm gonna um, season my macaroni now. Plenty of pepper. 
But he goes down there and gets it. We go exploring around. They showed me where there's a gator crossing. You could just tell, it looks like a slip and slide. And I'll get some photos of that. Saw some monstrous, I mean monstrous ant hills. Um, I might have did a little something, but it, that was way too far from shore. It, it was like a, a, a two hour paddle. Easy two hours. That was a long way. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I mean blacker. And, you know, we ain't going to do nothing but uh, some old pepper, really. A little bit more salt. There's be nothing bland about this. And then the garlic. You already seasoned it once, right? Hit it. Now you know what my whole kitchen just smelled into, right? That's what the macaroni and cheese looks like right now. Now that's just plain. Don't got nothing in it but salt and pepper. Out right here. Damn. I thought I had a, a bag of cheese we were gonna throw in here. But we used that for nachos. Got all about it. The nachos were bomb. Should have videoed that. One thing. So at, at the same time, I mean the exact same time, I was looking on one side of the creek. And the, uh, Ko was looking into the. Uh, I was looking on the side of the woods, looking for turtle shells, actually. K.O. was looking over the river for, uh, the, this was at the, uh, the pond. He was looking at the pond for alligators. And uh, Bobby was walking. I hear K.O. say, oh, my God, look at this gar. I hear Bobby say, oh, my God, a fox. I said, damn, look at the turtle. But then I heard the fox, and I was more worried about the fox than anything else. The turtle was white. I thought it was like a piece of styrofoam. But when I looked real close, it looked like a turtle shell from the back. Wasn't a hundred percent sure. I turned around to see where the guard uh, where the because Bobby was in the road pointing that way, and it was actually maybe like 10 feet from where I was. I didn't get to see it, but I, I saw the rustling. He's like, oh man, that fox is cool, that fox is cool. He said, yo, man, this guard was huge. I see I got this turtle shell right here. Hmm. Got the turtle shell. Each one of them was mad we, we had all missed it, which was understandable too. Do got, got some old sliced cheese. You can do it any way you want. Normally I put a bag of something here. Normally um some extra sharp. I just like it.
be honest with you, I had just dug a trench the day before. So I was already a little sore from pounding the earth and roots and stuff. So by the time we had actually got to that island and went around exploring my upper body, my shoulders and forearms, biceps and nine different places on my back, they were worked. And because when we were paddling out there, we was going against that wind and it was all, we think it went that same when we came back, it would be able to, we would be going against the current and it would help us. Mother Nature has a funny way of doing her thing. And um, she'll switch it up on you. And that's exactly what happened. It took a long time to get back. And of course, you know, when we was coming back, that alligator was there. In that same... Call from Death Carolina. Call. Uh -huh. Yeah. Call from Death Carolina. That same fear came. It didn't go nowhere. But we got through it and I kept trying to remember where that where that where I got stuck. I didn't want to get stuck again. And man, they was the dudes was chilling. But this time they just drifted. Because where the alligator was, it was in the uh in the creek. It wasn't on the river no more. They was drifting right over it, man. And I was way ahead of them. And I didn't want to go no further. I don't, I don't I ain't feel comfortable. I wouldn't, I'm not ever, man, I'm not, you won't see me out there by myself. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Ain't no way. When I go somewhere to eat, I like to have options. <laughs> I remember up in that in that movie, uh, Without a Paddle, there was a bear. Dude started taking off his shoes and he said, his friend looked at him and said, what are you doing? You can't outrun that bear. He said, I don't have to outrun that bear. I just got to outrun you. Uh, yeah, I told them dudes for the last thing had nothing to worry about. I would never bail on them. Just do your best you can to help. It's going to be a struggle anyway. So this is how I like to do it. I didn't start making this until probably about 2010. Didn't even think about making it. Take that. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to edit or get an editor. You got to go through this rigmarole. 
But here it is, folks. This is the buffalo chicken, macaroni and cheese. One pot, one pan, one bowl. What is the plate? Yeah. She ready. About to tear into it. Hold on one second. They had a blast. Um, I know they had a blast laughing at me because I was scared. Make sure you turn your oven off and you're not using it or your stove. I was scared. I mean, it was a couple of times. I was terrified. Terrified. Good for laughs. I sure wish I could share this with you. Let me see what it tastes like first. That thigh meat hits different, you know what I mean? On that second turtle shell, went over to bend over to pick it up. There were some vines and stuff, so many I didn't even bother to move them. I just started to go straight down. One busted me right in my lip. Made me bleed my own blood. Normally, that's a bad sign for something. Bad sign. It hurt right on my, I mean, right on, right, mm, between my nose and lip. It's hard. Mm. I'm about to share this up. I'll be going many more times. Um. I met the owner of the place. He liked me, so today, anytime I want. Oh, we got lucky. Videos are coming out. Food's good. I really wish I could share it with you. If you can, hit that like button. Share the video. Subscribe if you haven't.